Welcome back to Woodcraft716.com. I'm Mike Weibel and on this channel we build awesome projects with inexpensive tools. We also do tips and tricks and sometimes we do tool reviews. Today I'm going to go through a couple tips on starting your own woodworking business. So let's get right into it. My first bit of advice or tip would be to start today. It doesn't matter if you want to go full time or part time but make the decision to start today and then follow through with it. There's an old saying that says, you know, the best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago. The second best time to plant a tree is today. So you don't want to be 20 years down the line looking back saying, oh man, I, w I wish I would have done this. Where would I be right now? Just make the decision to succeed and follow through with it. You can do it. I know you can. The second tip I would have would be to have the faith in yourself that you can do this. You already know that you're a good woodworker. Now it's just a matter of getting your products out there into the public where they can be sold and you can collect the cash, right? <laughs> so there's a couple different ways you could do it. You can do it online with say a website or a Facebook ads. You could actually go to Facebook and uh, Google your town's name and garage sale and there's a ton of free advertising right there. All you need to do is take some high quality pictures, post them on your local garage sale, and sell your products. So that's a good way. Uh, and then there's offline where you could do craft fairs or craft shows, uh, stuff like that. Or uh, rent a 10 by 10 place at a consignment store where you actually put the physical goods there and somebody buys them for cash. Uh, that's a, another good way to do it. I also made friends with some local people in town. I have some flower boxes out in front of a nursery down here at the corner of my road. And uh, I gave them to him and he's got a stack of my business cards and hopefully I can draw some income that way. So there's tons of ways to make money online or offline. You just have to be dedicated, put your mind to it and collect that cash. The third piece of advice that I would give would be to start with the tools that you already have. There's no need to go out and buy expensive tools that you may or may not use. You already know that you can make the products with the tools you have. So go ahead and make them, make some money, reinvest that back into the company and make it better as a whole. But no need to go out or go into debt to start your business. Start with what you have. The fourth tip I have, and it's a big one, would be to get as organized as you can from the business end straight on through to the workshop end. Keep your stuff organized, keep your shop organized. If your shop is all set to go, your production will be faster and you can get the product out to the customer and collect that cash faster. So stay organized, stay organized on your paperwork, stay organized on every aspect of the business. We'll dip into more of these in a later video, but be organized. My fifth tip, Tip number five would be to focus your shop time on building products for the customers. The ones you've already sold or the ones you plan on selling. Get those jobs done so you can get paid for them. Give yourself a schedule and stick to it. Make sure you're in that shop just like you would be a part-time job or a full-time job. Make that sawdust, make that money. Try to make your appointments for weekends and evenings. That way it doesn't cut into your work time or your shop time. And tip number six would be marketing. You want to get your product in front of as many eyes as possible. So you're going to have to take the time out of your day to work on your website or your Facebook ads or make business cards. That's three ways right there that you can market your products and get them out in front of the public's view. We'll go deeper in depth in some other videos about marketing strategy in general. But be aware that you're going to have to take time out of your day and your work schedule to do your marketing because that's the only way you're going to get customers in is for them to know about you. Tip number seven would be to reward your repeat customers. If they're going to come back to you a second time and buy something from you again, it's probably a good idea to give them a little bit of a discount. You can also set up a referral program where somebody gets a small percentage off if they use that person's name or that person gets a discount on their next order. If somebody's going to buy multiple products, it's not a bad idea to give them a little bit of a discount. 
they feel like they're coming ahead and really you're coming ahead because you made that extra sale on two or more products. So keep those things in mind. You really wanna make a good impression. Sometimes I'll turn a pen and I'll give it to a customer when I give them the product and it seems like they're looking at the pen as much as the end tables I made them. So it's a great conversation piece. It's a great way to get your name out there. I highly recommend small discounts, referrals, and multiple discounts. Now following these steps obviously doesn't guarantee success, although I wish it did. But these are some of the things that I've used in my journey to start a woodworking business that I thought were key and worth mentioning. If you like these kind of videos about running a small wood shop, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and like, that really helps these small channels grow. And that's all for this one, so remember to always create and inspire. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video.